Okay, this is the five gallon desktop tank that I started um, a few days ago. I gotta kind of be quiet because everybody else is sleeping, and I don't have a door right now to my room. But um, uh, yeah, uh, Eric was asking about this tank, thinking about doing something similar. Uh, this particular style is called a riparium. Um, it's like a paludarium, but it doesn't have any land portion to it. For this, I just have a piece of driftwood that sticks out of the water. Some folks just use planters in the back. Um, but I just pretty much just have one emergent plant, which is the pothos. It's really easy to grow. I just took this bunch out of my paludarium. Um, one thing I've got going is this little filter, which I love. It comes with a spray bar. It's like 15 bucks. It's perfect. You can get it at PetSmart. It's probably the best filter I've ever gotten for a t small tank. It's internal. Um, you can't even see it in here. It's so well hidden. It's right under that leaf. Um, nah, I don't want to screw with it. See, the problem with small tanks is that your hands are just so big they can screw everything up really easily. Um, but anyway, yeah. I've got... Uh, the filter spraying up over the driftwood, and a bunch of java moss, just sitting right there. Um, hopefully it'll spread over the thing. I just took some out of the 10 gallon and put it up there. Uh, let's see, right there, that plant is a um, hygrophila, or hygrophila. Um, I'm not sure what kind. I just got some from the local fish store, and it was sitting in my 10 gal, so I put it in here. All the plants in this one are um, from my other tanks. Let's see. Uh, I was just ch checking the water in the 55. Uh, still cycling. Look at all those nitrites. Nitrites are showing up. It's not as dark as, it's, as it actually is. Actually, yeah, the video makes it look a lot darker. <laughs> Okay. Anywho, back to this tank. So, what I wanted to do was kind of create this shadowy area under here. You really can't hardly see anything because of the light. Here, if I cover it with my hand, you can kind of see. Yeah, there's a thing of Rotala right there. Um, and what's cool about this is that it gives the fish in there that aren't in there right now fish that would be in there, a ton of places to hide. Um, and they feel really safe under the big piece of wood. So it's not like I get to see the fish all the time, but when they come out, it's really cool. And in here I have two scarlet baddus. Um, I took them out, actually, because the tank... <laughs> uh, I'm using a cycled filter, but the dirt that I put in the bottom is leaching way more ammonia than the than the filter could handle, so figured I'd uh, I'd just um, take them out and stick them in one of my cycled tanks. So I put them in the paludarium, the pair of scarlet baddest that I got. And I was so lucky that I got a pair, a female and a male. They're just such cool little fish. Um, baddest and garamis are my favorite types of fish. Uh, oh, it's making it look really red. It's not at all that orange. Maybe you can reset the color. Yeah, it's more so that color. So, as you can see from all my other tanks, I like using Indian almond leaves. Um, you can buy a huge bag of them, grade D, for like five bucks on eBay. Just search Indian almond leaves. A lot of people use them for breeding betas. Um, uh, right now this tank has a ton of ammonia in it, so I'm just going to let it cycle for a few weeks. Maybe just a week or two before I put the baddest back in. And I might put some white clouds in with them, just so uh, while the baddest aren't up front, I can have some fish to look at. Um, and the baddest are cool, it's just that they only eat live foods or some frozen foods. So they're going to be an adventure. Tiny little adventure. Uh, one thing I'm thinking about doing with this tank is actually cutting it, cutting this rim right here and right here, 
and then popping this off and sanding this down uh, to give definitely a way more open feel. Um, I'm just worried because the rim itself in a five gallon is actually structural, whereas like, I don't know, 15 gallons, like it seems to be like 10 to 20 gallons, the rim isn't that structural. But uh, when the tank starts getting tall or when the glass gets super thin like this is, then uh, that's when the rim is structural. Oh, and I want to show you guys something cool. I just have this plant sitting on my desk. It was in, it was near my window for a while, but this is a pitcher plant that I picked up at freaking Home Depot. It's the coolest thing. These are it grows these pitchers which um, catch insects in them. I'm, you've probably seen them on like uh, I don't know nature videos or something. But yeah, it just grows and hangs these pitchers down. And I've seen them catch insects. Some of them have insects in them. But yeah, it's got digestive fluids down here. They kind of look like little testicles or little uh, scrotums, and yeah, my girlfriend my girlfriend calls it the scrotum plant. But it's cool; it'll grow up and kind of be kind of viney. Um, I don't know. I I like it a lot. Maybe I'm I'm thinking about putting together a little greenhouse or something for growing stuff like that. We'll see. Anyway, that's the five gallon. Catch you guys later.